We've got another soupy, super, super, super busy day today. So I'm getting dinner started right now in the slow cooker. You know what's my favorite thing about slow cooker recipes? Even versus Instapot, and I know this is very controversial, the whole Instapot versus slow cooker, but what I like about the slow cooker is you can start it in the morning, then go about your day, and then it's ready. The moment you are ready to eat, it's gonna be ready for you. So it doesn't matter what time you get home. Maybe half your family home is at is home at one time, your other half is home at a different time. It's just ready for you. This slow cooker chicken chili recipe is delicious. It's ready within 10 minutes, and I'm gonna show you how I serve it to my kids that don't really love soup. We're gonna make dinner, let's make it count. Let's make sure that we've got it going, we can enjoy the rest of our day, and our family's actually gonna like it. All right, I'm gonna show you how to make it, how easy, how fast, how delicious it is, how delicious it is. Let me show you the ingredients real quick. You're gonna want some lime juice, you could do fresh or this kind of stuff. We're gonna need a couple kinds of beans, bone broth, salt, pepper, a little oregano, some chili powder, a lot of ground cumin, some diced green chilies and some chicken. You can actually use frozen chicken breasts and just throw them in. I happen to have some leftover chicken, so I'm gonna do it like a so. All right, so the first thing I'm doing is I rinsed out all of the beans. So now they're rinsed and drained. We don't want all that stuff. Some recipes we do, this one we don't. One of the things I do for my kids that don't like soups, and one thing I'm actually like trying to try out a little bit more, is I'm gonna keep some of the ingredients separate and I'm just gonna put them on their plate when it's dinner time. So for the beans, I'm just gonna take some of the beans out and I'll heat them up and put them on there. Who does it bother that I'm using my hand to do this right now? It's fine, it's totally fine. I don't need a lot. I've got some white beans and some black beans in here and I'm just gonna set this aside in the fridge. Same with the chicken. I already have some chicken in the fridge that I didn't pull out. So their plate later will look like chicken, beans, and maybe I'll put some cheese on there, some fresh fruit. Everyone's happy. Okay, now I'm gonna open up a can of green chilies, and then we're just gonna start throwing things in the slow cooker. It's gonna be so easy and so fast. In a flash, even if kids were home and you were like, chaotic, you could get this done. I believe in you. So while I open that up, this is actually a sneak peek recipe inside of our Eat Together meal planner app. We'll link it down below. We also will have the recipe, the full breakdown ingredients, step-by-step -step instructions in the description of this video. But in a nutshell, if you want this recipe and the meal plan to go along with it, that's the key. You're gonna need a meal plan, you're gonna need the recipes, and you're gonna need a grocery list to stick to so that way you don't overspend. It's only $10 a month, or you can get half off when you sign up for a whole year at one time. So we will leave the link to that down below. All right, let's assemble our soup. Put the beans in and your chicken. Chicken broth. I use bone broth because it has more nutri nutrients and protein. Green chilies. This doesn't make it spicy. It's not spicy, just gives it a lot of flavor. Now we've got a, quite a few seasonings, but trust me, it's worth it. You're gonna want them in there. I've already got my salt and pepper and onion powder measured out. Then we're gonna need a few other things. <laughs> got everything in here and again you could just throw in your frozen chicken breasts just like this throw them in and mix it just like this and it'll still be delicious we're just gonna let this cook on low four to six hours however long you need and I'll show you what I'm gonna serve it with later tonight when we're eating Whew, okay it is the end of the day we're getting ready for dinner let me show you what our white Chicken chili looks like it smells so good. All right, so this is a super brothy soup. You could beef it up a little bit if you wanted to add in a few more beans, but mm -hmm. our family really likes the broth. So we've got the chicken, the white beans, the black beans, and this broth. Oh, you can't tell on the video, but it is um, a much richer red color in real mm -hmm. life. All right, let's dish it up.
Mmm. Ooh. Put a little avocado, maybe some sour cream, crumple some chips on top. This soup is so delicious, super flavorful. Remember all those seasonings we put into that broth? Your family is going to love it. Okay, don't forget, we have the recipe in the description below. We also have the meal plan and the grocery list. You need those things in order for this all to work magically together. You can have a busy, fun day and come home. Dinner's ready the moment you get home. It's faster than fast food. It's tastier than fast food. For sure gonna save you a lot more money. And this is actually a super secretly nutritious dinner that you can feel good about feeding your family. So go check out the recipe down in the description. We also have the link to our Eat Together meal planner app. It's only $10 a month. We do all of the thinking, all of the planning, all of the strategizing to help you save hundreds of dollars every single month. Think of what you could use that money towards instead of just wasting it on fast food or groceries that just go bad. You need the meal plan, you need the grocery list. It's gonna make your life easier. 10 bucks a month or if you sign up for the year, you actually get half off and it works out to be like on average $5 a month. So it's by far the most amazing meal planner app out there. We have all, we thought of everything for you. Thanks so much for having dinner with us tonight. If this is your first time here, click that subscribe button. And if you like this video, if it was helpful, give you some ideas about what you're gonna feed your family this week, give it a thumbs up soon. Bye.